Hey YouTube, uh, today I want to do a video on uh, my favorite holster. I have several of these holsters. I used to carry a Penix for a little while. Um, I have an EDC video out that gives my reasons on why I don't carry a Penix anymore. If you'd like to know those reasons, you can go back and watch that video. Um, you know, there's, there's several different holster companies out there and this just happens to be my favorite. And when I show you the holster sitting on the table, you'll understand it is my favorite because I have several of these holsters. The, my favorite holster is Stealth Gear. I really like the, the quality and craftsmanship that they put together in their holster. I'm not sponsored by Stealth Gear, although Stealth Gear, when you see this video, if you watch it and you see all these holsters and you wanna sponsor me, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. But uh, I do like Stealth Gear holsters. I do one modification to it that I'll show you, but that's it, the, the holster is, is just like it comes to me other than that. So uh, let's get on with the review. Okay, all these holsters, they are all Stealth Gear, every one of them. So I have numerous Stealth Gear holsters. So this is just a regular Glock 19 Stealth Gear. So as you can see here, you can see the holes inside it. This has like a hard plastic liner in it and it has holes to let it breathe. So in the summertime, you don't get hot carrying this holster. It's got a nice thick Kydex, um, shell on the outside of it with screws so you can adjust the tension and on the back it has this really nice um, antimicrobial uh, padding on it which is really soft against the skin which is you know if, you're, if your holster isn't comfortable and your gun isn't comfortable it was comfortable as it can be it's never going to be extremely comfortable carrying a firearm but if you can make it as comfortable as you can you are more likely to have that firearm on you if you need it we all pray that we never need our firearms, but if you do, this right here will make it more comfortable and make it more likely that you actually carry this firearm um, on a daily basis. You also have holes, which is probably easier to see in the back right here, to adjust the ride height of the holster, depending on whether you want it deeper inside your pants or, or above. These are inside the waistband holsters, I guess I should have said that. Um, they do make an outside the waistband holster, which I actually have right here. I believe it's called the Flex. I do like this holster. It is for a Glock 19 with a um, TLR1 Streamlight weapon light. Uh, I have carried this holster quite a bit too. It has the same padding on the back. It's a little bit different padding here, but the same antimicrobial padding is up here. Same kind of, um, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what kind of material this is, but it's, it doesn't scratch your gun or nothing, but it, it's very durable. And you, you see right here, it has the same holes inside for, for uh, air to come through. Now they do say that they don't put holes right here where your firearm rides so that if you sweat, that it does not get through to your firearm and get sweat on the firearm itself, which is uh, amazing detailed attention or attention to detail for me. Uh, I would have probably not thought about that if I'd have been making a holster, but they thought of everything it looks like. Uh, this one has clips on the back. You can also adjust the height of this one too. And this just screws into the side of the um, holster shell here. So they are flexible a little bit, so it kind of wraps around your body. This is my newest one that I just got in. This is for the Glock 19 with APLC. Um, as you all seen my other video, that's what I carry. And this is the holster for that. It's very minimal. If you get the inside the waistband one, for the TLR1, it is quite a bit larger. I didn't like to carry this one as much. It, it wasn't as comfortable as the as this one is and some of the other ones, so I found myself not carrying it. I did modify this one just a little bit for a RMR, so if I use my Zev, it, uh, I could run it in this holster, which, I, like I said, I didn't carry it very much because of the, the sheer mass of this holster when you, when you actually wore it. But this one's very comfortable. The modification I do are the C clips right here. I don't like the traditional clips. Um, those can pop off when you're when you're trying to remove your firearm. If you have to draw it fast, they can come loose. The way this is made, your gun actually go or your belt, I mean, actually goes through these two holes around your your shell and then back through these two holes, and that really locks that in. And I've never had any issues with this coming loose at all. 
but these come from Alien Gear. I actually just order these separate. I don't order the holsters. I just actually go to them and order these. And as you can see, every one of my holsters that are inside the waistband have these C-clips on them. These are the best clips that I've found to date that I like and I use all the time on every holster I have. They are very durable. They're very, very strong. I've never broke one. So, you know, even if you don't like stealth gear, which I, I highly recommend this holster, I cannot recommend it any more or any stronger because it just, it's so comfortable. But, you know, everybody has their, their own ideas of what they really like. But if you use traditional clips, I would highly, highly suggest you ordering these clips from them. I can't remember how much they are. It seems like they're about $11. So uh, if you want some, they, they just go underneath your, um, or over your pants right here, and then your belt goes through them. And I believe you can actually even tuck in your shirt behind them if you want to. I don't usually tuck in my shirt, but if, if you feel the need, I, I'm pretty sure you can even tuck in your shirt. So they are tuckable. Um, this is my review of the Stealth Gear holster. They make a lot of holsters. This is for like a car PM9. So they make holsters for many, many weapons. Um, so you shouldn't have any problem much finding one for, for what you like to carry. So, uh, uh, I believe I actually have one maybe for a Glock 43. So even, you know, the small guns or the, or the larger guns, they, they pretty much have a full array of holsters for, for whatever you may be looking for. Um, check stealth gear out. This is just my uh, personal opinion on holsters, but you know, I've been carrying carrying a firearm for a very long time, and it's this is what works the best for me. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.